this is such a beautiful beach it is probably the most accurate representation of what people would consider a paradise location that I've ever seen it's so incredibly blue white yellow green all those colors that really trigger you as a human so that you feel like you are immersed in nature as I'm recording this video right now there's less than one week until the family arrives back here with me and I feel like this time apart has been incredibly valuable for me to realize just how much peace I feel inside my mind with the decisions that I've made. I'm sitting here with my flip-flops off connecting with the sand digging my feet into the earth because I read something the other day about how the body can actually heal itself remove some of its stress through magnetism and that means that the earth has obviously got a magnetic charge the human body also has a magnetic charge and if you connect your actual flesh to the ground there's a transaction between the planet and you I want to appreciate that today I want to feel that healing connection with where I am people always say they go out into nature and they feel connected and they feel less stressed and this is probably one of the actual reasons behind it there's actual forces at play here that you can't see but you can feel in all honesty when I woke up this morning I was feeling some anxiety I had spent way too long on social media and consuming some news articles and looking at what was going on in America and what's going on in Britain and just some of the troubles that people are facing out there in the world and it stressed me out so much I could not sleep I could not get it out of my head and I knew that I needed to go out today and just do something that got me away from that digital connection which can sometimes be so good but it can also be so bad I went to a small cafe by myself of course and I sat there alone and it felt weird to be in one of our favorite cafes by myself but after a good coffee and some nice wholesome food I feel so much more ready to take on the world and pick up the camera again and talk about what's going on inside here without a doubt I definitely miss my family I'm not one who feels completely at peace just by myself I'm okay for a certain amount of time but after that I like to share things with people I like to be able to just openly talk about the things that I'm feeling and Sasha and I have been doing that for so many years it's just become like part of my body I'm missing that but we'll be back together soon enough shall we do a point of view video I always enjoy watching stuff like this on YouTube so I will share that with you right now this is everything that I can see from face level apologies for any wind noise but it's a beautiful breeze Doggo is walking along the sand. I've seen several dogs actually, no collars, so they must just be local strays, but looking pretty healthy. Look how healthy the colour of that water looks. Over there in the distance, I can see some people doing swimming lessons, surfing lessons, I mean. If you look up here, these two buildings with the Nipah roof, they are new Airbnbs that you can stay in. Imagine that waking up right there on the beach after perhaps looking to staying there one day to share that experience and as I walk further down this way this is again probably one of my favorite scenes in the whole of the country when I take pictures here I'm always just blown away at how astounding it looks and if you're right here in person with me you would know how much better it looks in real life Oh, look at those dog footprints there walking along creating a path just saw a few groups of local kids jumping into the water in the distance there one of our favorite restaurants in the distance with the lighthouse Trogon's Perch and then the incredible scene of the Philippine Sea I still feel so early to this island so early what I mean is that it's just so free and undeveloped in such a good way this can easily get ruined with like huge developments all the way up and down the coast and it probably will do in a decade or so but right now I feel like a pioneer someone who's arrived like 
at the right time. If you are Filipino watching this and you've been wondering why you haven't come back to the Philippines to retire, claim that land, that ancestral land, or maybe you work in the city and you've been thinking about whether or not you should move to an island or to the provinces, I cannot think of a better reason or an image to show you than this moment today, this scene that I'm filming right now. It just brings me so much joy in my heart to actually share these scenes because I know what it means. It means so much more than just the beach. It's that freedom that you feel. So if you've ever had the feeling that maybe you want to come and do something like this, it was like maybe an old dream of yours that you never realized, come here to see how it feels. Take time as well to walk around without rushing and then you'll know why we're still here. It just feels like we found a treasure. And I know that message applies to people who aren't Filipino as well, but there's a deeper impact for those who were born here, perhaps had to leave here to go to other countries to work and earn money. But maybe you've already done that. Maybe you've already made enough. That's the thing. You don't need as much money to live in a place like this. Once you're settled in, it all levels out. So if you're worrying about whether or not you've done enough to retire, try and balance it out in your head. Perhaps it's actually a dream that can be realized sooner than later. Look at this. It's like somebody painted that. That is incredible. Look at the colors. Wow. Any crabs in there? I don't think so. Wow, amazing. To show that's a story. This is the beach house I was talking about. Aloha Beach House. It's even got a little swimming pool on the deck there. Simple, but look at that view. I'm heading back to the main road now. I'm going to drive home to my dog Poppy and take her out for a nice walk. This is fun, isn't it? Yeah. Cool trampoline. <laughs> I'm gonna come on with you. Look, come on, me. <laughs> I'm not actually jumping. <laughs> You're letting me do that. I'm actually not jumping. Am I doing it? Yes. That means you'll be a master <laughs> at crack the egg. Wee. <laughs> you'll be a master at crack the egg. What's crack the egg? Yeah, I lie down, and then you have to jump and make me flip. <laughs> 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 like that. No, oh. <laughs> let's just we go up in the air. Okay. You have to make me move. You crack me up. Oh, nearly. Okay. <laughs> you cracked me. Oh, Bailey. Now it's time for me Bailey. to crack you. Here we go. I have to crack you now. Come on then. Bailey on the trampoline. <laughs> <laughs> Bailey playing on the trampoline. And she brought her favourite toy. Okay, drop. Drop. Bailey! No. Now, now it's time for me to crack you. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I cracked you! Oh, you did, well done. So have you enjoyed it here? Yes. Yeah? What's been the best part about England so far, do you think? <laughs> uh, my favourite thing about England... <laughs> is Bailey. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe Bailey. Oh, Bailey. Come on, jump. Now, what have you enjoyed most? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I you enjoyed everything. It? Apart from it hailing. You didn't like the hail? No. All okay. right, let's walk and talk. Just for a little bit. Mm. You're getting cold. I, no. You're not cold? I'm not cold. I am. You don't even have a coat on. I... I can't pick anything. I can't pick a single thing. About what? About our our journey to England. Why? I can't. It, it has just been so fun. <laughs> Every single day has been super fun. I can't choose. Okay. You've just had so much fun doing everything. Yes. <laughs> Apart from the hail. <laughs> Apart from the hail. You didn't like the icy weather that we no. had. Although it's been lovely today. Everything but the hail. 
everything with hail. Yeah. I don't think many people enjoy hail. <laughs> <laughs> no one no one likes hail. Anyway. You just had a nice I've time. I've just had a nice time in England. Yeah, okay. That's literally what I've all that's not, that's what that is what I've got to say. An inch there. Oh, Aunt Nick's got a lovely garden. Yeah, she does, doesn't she? It's like your own private forest. Yeah. <laughs> and a beautiful Bailey. I wonder if you'd get mm. on with Poppy. Never. Why? Poppy would like Bailey. She would, Bailey, Poppy would love her, but Bailey would hate her. No, she's a lovely dog. No, Paul, because <laughs> Poppy jumps on, on well, other yeah. dog's back. I don't think Bailey would let that happen, though, do you? Do you miss Poppy? Yeah, I really miss Poppy. Yeah. But the best thing about our trip on England mm. was every single thing. I can't choose at yeah, all. Yeah, OK. That's good, but, though. That means you've had a really fun time. and We've used our time here well, even though we've still got a week left. Like, we're not going yet even though we're talking a bit like we are. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Bailey. She literally went on her head. She literally rolled on her head. She's found a nice smell. What have you missed about the, the Philippines? Daddy. Yeah. You knew I was going to say that, right? <laughs> yeah, I knew you were going to say that. What else? Anything else? Palm trees. The palm trees. Why do you miss them? They're beautiful. But the thing I don't, I don't miss about Shark Hour is the really loud karaoke <laughs> that they do. On this trip to England, I enjoyed Hubble Down Heath. I enjoyed going to Auntie Nick's house, which already happened. Bailey spat on me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I enjoyed seeing Bailey. I enjoyed going to the Witch's Hat Park. I enjoyed oh, going... Yes, the Witch's Hat Park. That was cool, wasn't it? I enjoyed going on the slide in the Witch's Hat Park. Mm. I enjoyed... All right, what about what haven't you enjoyed so much? Those days which are like the super cold weather. Yeah. It's nice to get wrapped up though, isn't it? And it's nice to get wrapped up in your bed. Yeah, that's nice. They, I've actually enjoyed that. I've missed having a proper bed with a proper... Oh, we have a proper bed, but like a proper duvet and getting really cosy in it because it's nice and cool. Yeah. We don't really do that in Chargao because it's hot. We just have a little sheet and it's <laughs> not quite the same. So I've enjoyed all of our cosy cuddles that we've had. <laughs> that's been really nice. And yeah. what's one thing you miss about the house? Did you miss any of your toys since you've been here? I have. What? Tabitha. Oh, I'm sure Willie. Daddy's looking after Tabitha. And Misty and Patches. Yeah. Do you which think are the real cats. Do you think he's been feeding them? Probably not. He hmm. hates cats. He doesn't. Daddy he hates loves cats. cats. He doesn't. He just doesn't want to have one in the house. Why? He miss the animals. Miss the animals. <laughs> <laughs> but you've had so many animals here. Phoenix, Penny. Rosie, Bailey. Bailey, and you're going to see Jill's horse Apollo next week, hopefully, as well. Ah, uh, wait. Tired. No, I'm not tired. I'm not tired. I promise I'm not tired. Oh, I just heard an owl. Did you hear that? No. I heard it again. I hear it in the morning. Oh, well, that's an aeroplane now, but... I hear them all the way in the morning as I... Did you? Wow, that's something I, I see miss. Them. Owls. But you can get squirrels in Shargao. One food that I've really enjoyed having, crumpets. Oh, I hate crumpets. I love a crumpet. I Toasted crumpet. crumpet with marmites. That's toast. You, you beans toast. on toast. Beans on toast. <laughs> you have beans on toast at home. They're actually served. Oh, in a restaurant. Yeah. Yeah, no one does beans on toast in Shargao. Oh, no one, no one thinks. It's because it's a bit of a weird thing, really. <laughs> Some beans on toast. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Look at this beautiful sky. Yeah, it's super yummy. Ah, oh, this is nice and cosy and relaxing. <laughs> I'm just at my sister's house. We've been spending the weekend here with her we've had a really really nice time actually had a bit of a yeah. spa afternoon <laughs> with nick we had hot tub we had face masks mommy i want to go in the hot tub oh you missed your chance you and scarlet were playing so it was just me and nick it was very lovely a little bit you of grown up me. time you should have told me <laughs> granddad told you I saw, you knew where i was i saw you no you should have told me before you went in the hot tub oh look the camera's shaking because i'm shaking i'm actually oh really cold now <laughs> it's about eight degrees but it's beautiful sunset going on over there it's really really pretty and we are leaving essex tomorrow to 
go back to London and we're going to spend the last five days with Papa, with Irma and we're going to do some stuff in London which will also be really nice. We're having a really lovely time. Yeah. But we are missing Jay very much. And Poppy. And Poppy, yes. So hopefully next time Jay can join us on the trip as well. I'm going to go in now because I am shivering and I think it's time for a nice cup of hot tea mint tea peppermint tea your favorite yeah. <laughs> come on then but before the tea we're having a go on the swing this is hard so i can start with doing like up to the tree Mikui. Poppy's very curious about you. Yeah, let's go for a walk. I had a chat with Grandad Rob over in England a few days ago and he stayed here for weeks looking after Poppy once so he knows what it's like to be here by yourself and he said have you started talking to yourself yet? I was like yeah. Have you started talking to Poppy yet? I was like from the beginning. <laughs> you just do it don't you? You need somebody to share stuff with. I think that's why a lot of solo travellers start a vlog as well. It's something about talking to the camera which feels like you're making a diary or journaling or even talking to someone else because obviously you're leaving a message for yourself in a way. I decided to go out on the roadside today. Look at the size of this road that's been built here. This is like the middle of the island. There's barely ever any traffic here and there's like almost four lanes for all the cars. If you look here as well, one of the people has come and started their own little lettuce farm. This is almost brand new, I never saw this before. Pick and pay lettuce for sale. Since the pandemic I've seen quite a few of these things pop up like this farm or people will come from the city like Davao, Manila and they will reclaim their ancestral land and turn it into something which is nice because it feels like you're resetting back to the simple life in a way and people are starting to utilize this land which was just basically getting completely overgrown and not really serving any purpose. There are some other major benefits to moving away from the busy life as well that you don't really think about. And that's just like how quiet everything is. There's barely any traffic on these roads. You're not going to get stuck in like Manila traffic ever. <laughs> You'd be driving freely across this whole island. Just a few bikes and surfboards and a couple of like local people going by on absolutely huge roads. Even that electronic buzz you get from being close to electricity and Wi-Fi and stuff like that. There's so much less of it around here because it's a small island. You can actually hear nature. You can hear the birds. You can hear the sea. It's wonderful. You don't realise how much that's affecting you, how much it's seeping into you, healing you. Like my family and I are very lucky to have discovered a way to live this life earlier. Uh, we've been doing this kind of living for about 12 years now because we moved to Thailand and then Portugal and we always like seeking that simple life. It became our ethos in a way. And I know many people who are in their 60s, maybe like mid 60s, and they still haven't quite figured out how to get this done yet. And it's okay because, you know, different generations have different opportunities. and. It makes total sense that you have to feel secure before you can do something like this. But don't leave it too late if you've got the possibility to do so. Get out of here, it's worth it. Hey friends, <laughs> we haven't seen you for a while. Don't run into the road, this bike's coming, be careful. This is another moonshine. Who remembers moonshine from that sunrise walk we took many months ago? <laughs> He came down following Poppy and they're having a race on the beach. You don't really see him much anymore, do you, Pop? Don't come up this way often. It is a rainy day here in General Luna. I just came to visit our plot of land and come and speak to our neighbour. I lent him one of my paint guns, which I've just come to pick up because I want to use it for some work at home. 
and come and see the land. Just see what the deal is. Haven't been here for a while. I want to check up on it, see how overgrown it is. So yeah, let's go and have a look. And come with me while we explore what's happened here in the last several months. I've not walked down this pathway for some time. So this is kind of like what the deal is when you buy plots in the province or on the islands. Everything is divided up into kind of weird little shapes and slotted around the island in funny places. So you never quite know what you're going to get. One day this will be a road leading into what will be our home, hopefully next year. To be honest, it's not that bad. I mean, this bit's been cut down. I normally come down here and I slice all of this up with my brush cutter. Oh my goodness. But at least I've got access. I can walk all the way up still. Oh my word. It is overgrown. <laughs> it's a lot. A lot of growth there to cut down, but to be honest, there's no point in me putting in severe work into this place until we're ready to actually start building. I often think this if some of these from the Philippines and they've got some ancestral land that they've never visited before and you turn up to a place like this and you go, oh my goodness, that is a lot of work. You leave this for like just a couple of weeks and all of a sudden it's just completely overgrown. I mean, all of this land over here was also cleared recently when it was for sale. And then just don't give it that long and it starts to look like that, you know. <laughs> it's a constant work, so I feel like because we live so far away, there's no point in us putting in ridiculous hours into keeping this place completely and utterly flat when we're not actually doing any construction until next year. So there you have it, still have that plot of land, we didn't get rid of it, still are planning to very much put our house on it, just everything took a back step for this year while we do the land repayments and once all the payments are made and then we can focus on the budget for the actual build, things will be all systems go. I feel like today's vlog has been a real contrast to what's available in the island life got the big stores here in the Shargal Town Centre, all the handymans and the supermarkets. You've got the rural land and the beautiful beaches as well. I don't know how long it will be until they open this bench store, but that's going to change the island a bit as well. And if you're into fried chicken, there's your andox over there too. It's noisy around here. Came to get some treats for Poppy and a new remote control for our TV. And I've just noticed they've actually got a new ATM here. This is something the island has been missing. I'm not sure if it's got any cash in it. I'm going to grab myself a coffee before I go home. And here is the place that they were opening the last time we came to look. Halika. It's an ice cream and gelato place. They've actually got one in the town centre as well, in General Luna. So that's what the other place was going to be. But today, coffee. <laughs> I just had a quick chat with the owner of Whitebeard and he said they had to air condition this space because there was so much dust coming in from the roadside. Also didn't know this place was pet friendly. Sweet dog in here so Poppy could visit if she wanted to. Not that she likes coming out with us to be honest. I'm gonna go and see Poppy now, see what she's been up to, make sure she's got her dinner, do all of my responsibilities. It's been a bit of a day out for me but I'm glad that I've got some tasks done. I'm out with the dog gang five puppies strong. Weather is lovely. I came out this morning at about 6.30 and it was nice and cold and same now. It's probably about what, five o'clock in the afternoon. Perfect weather. It's really nice. No sweat. Nice breeze. Cool temperatures. It's beautiful. I just checked on our Shargal Recycling Centre campaign on Global Giving. And I see now that we have over 2,250 US dollars donated from you guys around the world, which is incredible. Huge thank you guys, because once we can get the studio operational, there's going to be a huge difference in the lifestyle of the people of the north of Chargal and also the effort to remove a ton of plastic waste off the beaches every single month, which is a big number. Think about 
what a plastic bottle weighs when it's empty and then think a ton of that can be removed from the beaches every single month. That's what we're hoping for, that's what we're aiming for. So massive thank you to everybody already. Still got some way to go, but we will get a roof on that building and we will get it set up to start recycling. Poppy is hiding there behind the bushes, dropping some of her own organic waste. Can't you? Oh, you fell over. Can't you? Oh, you fell over. What happened, Poppy? Trip on a vine? Oh my goodness. Just before I came home today, I met a nice couple in Whitebeard and they were retiring here soon. And it was interesting to talk to them and hear their stories and just see the motivation behind getting work finished so that they can come and live out here. As you can probably imagine, we meet quite a few people that are in the planning stage of leaving the West behind and coming to seek out a more rural or provincial life here in the islands or in the Philippines province areas and it's nice to be able to share stories together one thing i did notice though is that if you are coming from a western place of course there's going to be some adjustments that need to be made the environment that you'll be moving from to the environment you're coming to is so different it definitely helps to manage your expectations a little ultimately though in my opinion the trade-off is better especially once you figure out the things that make your life good out here there really are multiple benefits We're going to end the video on this beautiful beach walk and the shout out for today goes to Archie. Huge thank you to Archie for becoming a member. Really appreciate it. It makes a big difference. If you guys want to become a member yourself, hit the join button. It's below the videos. It's also in the description and the comments bit. And we will see you in the next one. Bye.